Centipedes are a common insect found in gardens and sometimes in the home. They thrive in dark, moist underbrush and spend their time hunting prey. It's true, these nocturnal creatures can look like something out of a horror movie, but are they poisonous? To answer this, we must first understand that poison and venom are two different categories. Poisonous refers to something that will make you sick if you ingest it. Venomous refers to poison injected by the creature into its prey. So by that definition, centipedes are not poisonous, but they are venomous. Luckily, their venom is not dangerous to humans. But if you're an unsuspecting silverfish, watch out. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk centipedes. Stick around to the end to find out what to do if you're bitten by a centipede. How many different kinds of centipedes are there? There are more than 3,000 types of centipedes around the world. They range in size from one inch to a foot long and are often found in damp areas such as under mulch, under potted plants, along brick and stone, and in leaf litter. They can have between 10 and 100 legs, which lets them navigate through underbrush at high speed. What do centipedes eat? Centipedes spend much of their day hunting and searching for food. They are voracious predators who eat snails, pill bugs, slugs, and other insects. Once they locate prey, they bite it and inject their venom. Centipedes will eat several insects each night and can hunt house pests like cockroaches and some spiders. Their high speed makes it difficult for their prey to escape. Centipedes can have up to 100 legs, and each leg is longer than the one in front of it. This special adaptation ensures that the centipede won't trip over itself as it runs. They also possess strong growths behind their head, which are used to hold prey and inject it with venom. They then chew their prey with their strong mandibles. Their digestive system is a simple tube, and they breathe through gaps in their exoskeleton. What is the life cycle of a centipede? Centipedes are born after a female picks up a sperm packet a male has left behind. The female centipede lays the fertilized eggs and carries them on her body, carefully grooming and maintaining them to prevent mold growth. As the eggs hatch, the mother centipede will curl around them to protect them while they grow through their first phase of life. The centipedes in some cases will eat their mother as their first meal. As the centipede's exoskeleton hardens, it can leave its mother's embrace and begin hunting. They will molt several times, gaining new legs with each molt. Every molt makes them larger and able to hunt bigger prey. A baby centipede may only be able to hunt small flies and silverfish, while an adult centipede can track larger prey like spiders, slugs, frogs, and even birds in some cases. As insects go, centipedes are quite long-lived averaging a lifespan of six years in the wild if they aren't preyed on. Some animals do eat centipedes, including birds, lizards, and some snakes. In fact, humans will eat centipedes in some countries as a delicacy. What do you think? Some centipedes have a defensive spray containing hydrogen cyanide that they can spit towards their predators. Their defensive behavior also includes extending to their full height and performing a threat display, splaying their fangs and long legs. Centipedes lose moisture through their exoskeleton, which is segmented to allow for quick movement, so that is why they prefer a nice, damp environment. What's the difference between a centipede and a millipede? On the surface, the centipede and millipede look very similar with their long bodies and excessive number of legs. However, while centipedes are hunters, millipedes are scavengers, moving more slowly through the underbrush and eating rotting plant matter. Millipedes will eat a dead insect in a pinch, but they do not hunt. Their defensive strategy includes rolling into a spiral and secreting a fluid that can cause irritation or skin allergies in humans. Millipedes also have more legs, ranging from 40 to 400, with a record-setting specimen in California possessing 750 legs. These legs help them navigate the world at night, taking tiny steps while they search for food. Centipede legs are on the sides of their body, while millipedes carry their legs underneath their body. This gives the millipede a more deliberate stride. And since it's not a hunter, this works out just fine for the millipede. Decaying plant matter doesn't tend to run away. Both species are ancient. The earliest fossil record of a centipede is from 430 million years ago, while millipedes began wandering the earth around 425 million years ago.
Despite this head start, centipedes and millipedes are similar enough to cause confusion in the scientific world for years. They are, in fact, different species entirely, and cannot interbreed. Physically, they look very similar, with segmented bodies, and a commitment to growing as many legs as they can fit on them. Their last common ancestor existed between 450 and 475 million years ago. What happens if a centipede bites you? While centipedes possess venom, it is not highly toxic to humans. That being said, you wouldn't want to be bitten by a large centipede. The larger the centipede, the more painful the bite, and a giant centipede can leave quite the mark behind. A typical centipede bite will stay red and a little swollen for a few days. A topical antibiotic or steroid can help clear it up more quickly. Centipedes prefer damp areas, so you're most likely to find them in leaf litter or in a basement or bathroom in a home. Use a cup or some paper to transport them. You may notice that a centipede seems to run towards you, but don't worry, you're not under attack. Centipedes hunt with their antenna, but their vision is not strong. From their point of view, a human looks like a nice tall tree to hide behind. Are centipedes dangerous to humans? As we've mentioned, no, centipedes are not dangerous to humans. Even the longest centipede in the world, which came from South America and was appropriately called the Peruvian giant, it clocks in at an impressive 12 inches long, but it doesn't attack humans. Instead, to match its bigger body size, its prey includes birds and mice. It can even catch bats by hanging upside down in a cave and catching them as they fly out for the evening. Like most biting insects, it's good to be wary of them even if they aren't dangerous. Never handle one directly unless you're sure it's not aggressive. Instead, kindly tip them into a jar and transport them outside. What to do if my house has centipedes? Centipedes are considered by most to be pests, even though they are beneficial house insects because they eat damaging pests like silverfish. However, if you don't like seeing their friendly faces, there are several things you can do. First, make sure to wipe up any moisture in bathrooms after a shower and in basements. Too much moisture attracts them. You can also make sure your weather stripping under doors is tight and not allowing any gaps. Centipedes supposedly do not like the smell of peppermint oil, so spraying that around doors and windows can sometimes repel them. You can also sweep regularly to remove any prey for the centipedes. Silverfish are a favorite snack, so treating them can also remove these tiny insects. If you suddenly have centipedes when you didn't previously, check the weather. If it's warm and humid, they are active and abundant outside. Because of this, they may come into your home looking for snacks and a damp place to hang out. If you want to discourage this, make sure you vacuum regularly and remove clutter so they have fewer places to hide during the day. They may try to move in during winter as centipedes have a hard time surviving the cold. If outside, they will look for rotting leaves that will keep them warm all winter. However, since they don't hibernate, the best source of warmth is probably your home. Conclusion Centipedes are fascinating creatures, and despite their scary exterior, they are largely harmless to humans. The next time you see one, instead of reaching for a shoe, take a little time to observe this fascinating hunter before you put it back outside. Well, that's it for today. If you found this video useful, consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. Also, be sure to check out assortedanimals.com for more animal information. Want to learn more about animals? Check out Land of the Bobcats the documentary.